everybody. Today we're going to make blueberry buckle coffee cake. This is what it is going to look like. It's an old recipe and I'm just going to follow it exactly because my family loves it. So let's get started. We are going to start with three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now we are adding a quarter of a cup of shortening. This is a very old recipe, so they used shortening back in the day and I still use it now. I'm going to then turn this on and get one egg and a half a cup of milk. And now we're adding a half a cup of milk. I use 2% but you can use whatever milk you use. And we're gonna mix that well and then add um, two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just mixing up the baking powder and the salt and now I'm going to add two cups of flour and then I'm going to fold in two cups of blueberries. <laughs> We are going to gently fold in the blueberries so we do not crush them. And then we are going to put it in a pan. Yes? <laughs> They're frozen, you bet you crush them. It's actually better to do it that way. Yes. The, you my put it in the feeder and it wouldn't My matter. back seat uh, <laughs> cook over no, there. Um, I did use frozen berries. You can use canned berries, but if you choose to use canned berries, make sure you drain them well. But I usually buy uh, blueberries from Kroger when they're on sale, and then I just freeze them. Do not wash them before you freeze them. When you're going to use them, that's when you wash them, or they'll be one big clump. I have decided to use these little pans, little loaf pans, so we'll see how that turns out. Obviously less cooking time. Um, I did spray them though because I do not want anything to stick, so it took three little ones. So I have to kind of get it all settled in there and then the uh, filling will fit on there. This is the topping that I am mixing up. I just used the same bowl. I didn't clean it out or anything. butter. I'm using the Irish butter from Costco. Let me add a little bit more butter. You just want to soften the butter. You do not want to melt it. So that's looking better already. Okay, I just put the crumb topping on the dough and now these bad boys are going in the oven. I'm not really sure. Normally in a regular loaf pan it's 375 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. So being that these pans are so small I'm not exactly sure how long to put it in but I'll just watch it. And two out of the three are done. So that looks pretty yummy. I think I'll make some coffee and have some warm Blueberry Buckle Coffee Cake. Have a great day. Bon Appetit!